strike pack is a hard device to conquer, but after watching this video, you will know how to set up properly, which will help you play to the best of your ability. These mods that I will be talking about are specifically targeted towards Siege, but can also be used in Apex and Rust and Call of Duty, kind of any game. But I will only be going over mods that are useful in every game. So we won't be talking about auto hold breath or anything like that. In this video, I'll show you how to map the buttons on your Strike Pack Eliminator for the Xbox and PlayStation. With the Strike Pack Eliminator, you can map any gameplay function to one of the four action buttons. Each of the action buttons can be easily remapped at any time. As an example, I will show you how to map the action button 1 to the reload function in the game. Because action button 1 is on the top left of the action buttons, so is its mapping button. To do this, press and hold down on the coordinating mapping button. While holding down, press the reload button, or X. Now when you press action button 1, it will reload. You can repeat this process for all of the action buttons. Something that makes this even better than a standard button mapping device like an Elite controller is that you can map more than just one action. For example, if I hold down the mapping button 3 and then hold down B and let go of both of them, action button 3 will now be mapped to holding B or going prone. I can also map action button 2 to crouch a knife by holding the mapping button, clicking B, and then clicking right stick. This could be especially useful in games like Apex or Call of Duty to map a button to be jump and slide prone. Possibilities here are endless. Have fun with this, and if you think of any strategic ways to use mapping, let us know in the comments. If this video gets 100 likes, I will make a video about how to use this in conjunction with another mod to AFK Renown Farm. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for when that video comes out. If you want the best advantage, click the playlist on the right because the strength of Strike Pack mods doesn't end at button mapping. Thanks for watching. So, probably the most important thing to know about your Strike Pack. To know how to do on your strike pack is how to turn on uh, mod mode uh, as you can see i have two mods activated each light represents a different mod i have mod one and mod three uh but i am in mod mode right now if you aren't in mod mode you can't set up any mods because you're in tournament mode and so you'd be cheating obviously if the second you turn on mod mode um so oops to turn on mod mode you, your eyes when you plug in your controller are going to be white on this alien back here all you need to do hold down on this top right and then click down on the top left i show that again from a better angle hold down on the top right click on the top left mapping button that's it uh, the eyes will turn green if you're on xbox and blue if you're on playstation um now you can follow any of the mods this video will show you how to set up the anti-recoil mod on your xbox one or series strike back eliminator and adjust it correctly, this should remove all vertical recoil from your gun. If you haven't already, which I doubt you have, make sure you subscribe. Make sure the strike packs will be in the description. First, you will have to enable the anti-recoil mod, mod 3. To do this, hold down left on the D-pad for 5 seconds until the top of your strike pack lights up as shown. To navigate to the anti-recoil mod, press X to scroll up until you reach the third mod or the third light. If you accidentally scroll too far, then click A to scroll back down. Once the third light is lighting up, press Y to activate the mod. It should vibrate periodically and be simple. Now what you're going to want to do is hop into a practice game with the gun you want to adjust the recoil. To adjust the strength of anti-recoil, while still holding down left on the D-pad, press LB to increase the anti-recoil value. This will weigh down your weapon, reducing the vertical recoil. The idea is to reduce it to a point where there is no longer any vertical recoil. If it begins to have a downward recoil, tap RB to reduce the anti-recoil value. Once the anti-recoil is where you want it, release the left D-pad. Remember the ideal anti-recoil is different for every weapon. For games where you keep your weapon the whole game, I suggest making it have as little recoil as you can. However, for games like Siege, what I personally use it for, I suggest mapping the anti-recoil button to a low recoil gun, for example, Frost Rifle. This will, in turn, cause no guns to shoot toward the floor and still make it easier to control recoil. If you want to know how to get even less recoil, click the video on the right to see how to set up rapid fire. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up rapid fire for your pistol. Uh, I have another video about how to set up rapid fire for every gun, which I will link in the end screens. Uh, that would look something like this. If it's set up for your primary as well as your pistol. But if you only want it for your pistol, uh, you're gonna wanna turn on your strike pack. You do that by holding down the left mapping button and then tapping on the right. Uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do, make sure you have all your mods off. And 
hold down left on the D-pad. Click Y one, two times until it vibrates. And then what you're going to want to do is hold down right on the D-pad. Click Y again while having your pistol out. So as you can see, it's still on for my pistol. And that's just the normal RFC. Uh, if you accidentally set it up that your R4C has rapid fire but your pistol doesn't, what you're going to want to do is open a menu like this, hit Y, and then as you can see, I will only shoot one bullet. So this will be rapid fire. That was awful. Hope that helped. If you want rapid fire for both guns, I will show you how to do that in the video on the right. Today I will show you how to make your guns grow from this. To this. Alright, to set up the rapid fire mod without using a computer, for all guns you will need to hold down left on the d-pad until the lights on the top of your strike pack light up. Once they do, then you will need to hit Y two times to activate adjustable rapid fire. That's literally it. Your gun will now shoot rapid fire. As you can see, this is now activated. However, it's not quite the speed I would like, so to change the speed, hold down left on the D-pad and click LB to increase the speed or RB to slow it down. Finally, to set up rapid fire using your computer, you're going to need to download the free Collective Minds app, which I will link in the description. Once you have downloaded, once you have it downloaded, you're going to need to plug your strike back in and make sure you use the cable that it came with. Once it's plugged in and the app is open, it should have four squares. Click on the one with cogwheels in it. This should leave you a page with all pre-downloaded mods. The mod that you will want to activate should be the first one, called Jitter. This mod is also available and a lot better on the Cronus N, and if you would like to see a full comparison, click the i or link in the description labeled Cronus N vs Strike Pack. I hope this helped. To get the biggest advantage, however, I suggest you also apply the anti-recoil mod. Alright, so to get crouch spam on the strike pack, you're first going to want to connect your strike pack to the Xbox or PlayStation. Plug it in right here, and it should look like this. Then, you're going to want to put it into mod mode by holding down this button and clicking this one. That's a turn it green. Then what you're going to want to do is hold down left on the D-pad until the light on the top of the strike pack lights up right there. Keep it held down and click X. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Then, once your light is on the third green light, click Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. It should buzz seven times if you get it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I know that I did it correctly. So now this button will now be mapped to your crouch spam button. So you just hold down this button. And while you're holding it down, you hold down B. And now I'm crouch spam. Just like that. So the question I've been getting a lot is how do you turn off the mods? Uh, so let's say that this is crouch spam right here, this mod. Let's say I don't want that on. All you're going to do is hold down left on D-pad right here. And this is the same for any uh, mod. It doesn't have to be for crouch spam. So you want to hit, uh, generally you're, you're going to start here on this first light. You're going to hit X or uh, whatever the equivalent is of that on PlayStation. Until you get to the mod that you want to get rid of. Then you hit B until it stops vibrating. And then when you let go, it should be turned out. All right, now the mod's off. That's it. All right, if you want to know the differences between a Cronus Zen and a Strike Pack, click the video on the left. And if you want to know how to get zero recoil with the Strike Pack, then click the video on the right. Thanks for watching.